Good day to you guys. Welcome to our semester. This is a quick video to help you with basic navigation through Blackboard. Not sure if um, everyone is familiar with it, but it's really simple. So when it's time for you to log in, um, you know exactly how to navigate to where we are going to be doing the majority of our work. So this is a general video for all of my classes. So I'm going to walk you guys through it um, quickly. And if there are any further questions after this, then of course send me an email. So you want to definitely log in, use your username and password, your COD username and password that should have been emailed to you um, when you uh, actually registered uh, for school. So you're going to populate that in. I just go through the uh, COD website. There's also an app uh, that many people use. It really doesn't matter. However you get into the system, uh, the Blackboard system, that's fine. So just go ahead and log in. I'm already populated, so I'm going to hit that. It takes a second. And then this is my course view. Maybe yours looks a little bit different, but again, it's similar enough where you get the point. So we want to go down in the middle here. This is where your courses are. We're spring 2021 here, and I'm just going to choose a class. Okay, I'm going to choose this one here. It's uh, English 1101. Again, this is a general video for all of my classes. Uh, my intro to creative writing and intro to lit, same process. So what you want to do, once you choose the course that you are signed up for, you'll see announcements here. But really, one of the most important things is off to the left. This is our navigation over here in this green area. So you can navigate to the syllabus, and it's simply a link. You can click that, and a PDF of the syllabus will open up. This is always going to be either the first or the second link. Now, all of our work, all of our assignments and resources on a weekly basis Again, it's going to be under this link called Assignments and Resources, so I'm going to click on that. And this is for all classes. Once that opens up, you will see our folders. So there will be a, a folder for every uh, week and for every unit. It will be clearly labeled. You don't have to guess where things are. So since we are at the very beginning of the semester, here is Unit 1 introduction so the first week is just about setting expectations trying some things out working out the kinks and the bugs and then week two we get down to content so i'm going to go ahead and click and open this up and then that is where all of your again assignments and resources will be laid out for you okay so unit one introduction and then i normally number the steps so number one uh, for my 1101 class, these guys are going to be watching this video. I give you all the instructions. And then you work your way through number one, number two, all the way down. And it has the due dates right here listed for you. So be sure to log in to your course. Um, Monday morning, take a look at um, what is... Um, waiting for you, what's going to be due, so you can set your week, right? That's what you want to do. So every week, log into Blackboard Monday morning as early as uh, 7 o'clock. That's when the material is going to be available. You can log in anytime on Monday um, so that uh, you can, again, set the expectations for your week. Now, we're going to be working with a lot of discussion boards. So when it comes to a discussion board, if you've never done one before, what you want to do is you want to actually click the title. The title is a link, right? So here are all the instructions, but when it's time for you to make your post, you want to click on the title. Okay, I'm going to do that for this particular writing histories bio assignment. Okay, so you'll notice there's nothing here. What do I have to do? So what you need to do here is just create a thread because that's what you're doing, creating a thread. Go ahead and launch that. You'll see the instructions again right here. It's a description. You can give it a title. That's what it is. This form is for subject. So I'm going to call this one test. Okay. All right. You can call your um, your thread your name. You can give it the assignment title. Whatever. It's fine. And then this is where you want to 
either type your post in, okay, or you can do it in Microsoft Word and you can attach a document as well. All right, so again, this is just a test. So here's where you would want to make an attachment, either or. You can either type it in here or you can attach it. Um, sometimes when you are doing like a cut and paste, like if you were to type something in Word or Google Docs and try to um, do a copy and paste, you can lose some of the formatting. But supposedly this semester they have worked, uh, IT's worked the kinks out on that. So you can try a, a copy and paste and see if it works a little bit better. But this is where you want to copy, um, uh, make your post. All right, you're going to put it right there. Once you go ahead and make that post, that initial post, then you want to come down here okay, and you want to hit submit. Don't hit save draft. It seems like that would make sense. I'm save the draft and come back and finish it later. But I've had problems with it in the past where if you hit save draft, it's difficult to find it again. Uh, again, they are supposedly had worked out the kinks on that, but uh, I just want to play it safe. Uh, just hit submit. Once you hit submit and you want to go, if you ever need to make any sort of edits or um, revisions or anything, you can um, go back to your original post even after you submit it and make those changes and it will update. So I'm going to hit submit. Okay. And so then you notice it's right here. So here's me, Tony Bowers, and here's my thread. If I ever want to get back to it, all I got to do is hit the link here, right? Bam. And I can get back to it. All right. So you guys are going to be responding to classmates as well. So you're going to, after you make your initial post, you're going to wait about a day or so, and then you're going to go back in and you'll be able to find your classmates post by going through the original direction. You're going to choose any two classmates that you want, and you simply want to hit reply. Okay, hit reply. If you do want to go back and edit your initial post, uh, you can just hover over this area and you notice that these three buttons uh, all of a sudden appear. All right, let's see. But if you want to reply to a classmate, just hit reply after you read their post and then you can type in your response. And I'm just going to say this. All right, again, just a test. So you type in your response to your classmate and you're looking for any commonalities. You guys are going to have like a virtual discussion. Um, you're going to have a, some back and forth, trying to make it like a face to face interaction as much as possible. And then, of course, when you are done with your response, uh, you're going to hit submit. And then there you go. You're going to do that twice. All right. For two classmates. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. So that are those are the basics when it comes to navigating Blackboard. Remember, your navigation is always to the left. We're going to be really focusing in on two areas, the syllabus. You can always go back to that syllabus whenever you need to. And then, of course, on a weekly basis, as much as you need to, assignments and resources is where you're going to find all of our work. If you have any questions beyond that, reach out to me and I'll be happy to help you as much as I can. Take care and have a good day.